I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Crack SAT. Now here is a very interesting and important question based on weighted mean. Calculator is allowed to solve this question. It could be rated as question number 35. So it is going to be one of the toughest questions uh, on SAT paper. Let's look into it. A teacher weighs student marks in her final calculations as follows quiz 20 percent assignment 15 percent test 35 percent and final exam 30 percent a student's term mark in these categories are 86 62 and 78 in order of appearance so when we say term marks that means before final exam right so means all this what mark must the student achieve on the final exam to earn a final grade of 75%? Assume all marks are integers out of 100. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. As you can see here, the marks are weighted. So we have different categories here. Let's rewrite the categories and their weightage. So quiz is, let's say Q, is 20%. And then we have assignment, let's say A, is 15%. Then we have test, which is 35%. Now each of these categories, the marks obtained are 86, 62, and 78, right? So the marks obtained are 86, 62, and 78. We need to find what marks should student get in final exam so that the final grade is 75%. Remember, the final grade weightage is 30%. So first we have to find weighted mean of the term. So this is the term, right? So how do you find weighted mean for this kind of information right so let's say weighted mean weighted mean for the term will be equal to multiply these quantities right so we say 86 times 20 plus 62 times 15 plus 78 times 35 and you have to divide by the total weight right that is to say 20 plus 15 plus 35 got it? so that is how you calculate weighted mean so i hope the formula is absolutely clear so marks obtained times their weight add them up and divide by total weight perfect so let's get this answer so we have 86 times 20 plus 62 times 15 plus 78 times 35 which is equal to 5380 let me rewrite here 5380 and we have to divide this by sum of these which is 70 right 35 plus 35 let me write 70 here so which is how much so we are going to divide this by 70 which gives us in decimals 76.857 let us say okay so that is the weighted mean for the term. So we have done one part of it, that is we have found the weighted mean. Now, the real question here is, what mark must the student achieve on the final exam to earn a grade of 75%? And the weight for the final is 30%. Okay, so that is to say, that this average has a weight of 70%, correct? And the final has a weight of 30%. We need to find this number of marks, correct? So how do you find that? So to find that, let us say F is the marks obtained in the final exam. So in that case, we are just writing F as the final exam, whose 
weightage is 30 percent here in the term we already have a mark here which is let's say let me write 77 right let me round it let's say 77 uh, actually I should write weight here 70 percent and the term mark is let's use decimals now then we'll round later okay so in this case we want a weighted mean of 75 so what the equation becomes that means we want 75 should be equal to f times 30 plus this mark which is 76.857 times 70 we're using calculators so we can always use any decimal values divided by 30 plus 70 which is 100 okay so that is what we have so if you cross multiply we get 75 times 100 right take away this number which is 76.857 times 70 we get f times 30 so if you divide this by 30 you get your final exam marks perfect let's calculate this answer so we have here 7500 minus 76.857 times 70 right equals to and then we are going to divide this by 30 to get the final exam which is equal to 70.667 so we could round this to 71 so our answer is 71 percent perfect so to get an average of 70 percent in the final to get an average grade of 75 percent in the final we have to score 71 percent at least right so that is the mark so our answer here is 71 percent so when you're grading in this number no need to write the percent sign correct so you'll just grade in 71 right so you can write 71 as your final answer so that is how this type of question could be solved so here we have used the weighted mean concept twice i hope that makes it absolutely clear how to apply it in such situations feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best